You have had your tea. The doings of Hamish and Dougal. Today, porridge votes. Good morning, everybody. This is your laird shouting at you. As you know, we are in the run-up to the local by-election, and I'm sure you all know exactly how you're going to vote for me. Just write my name next to the cross on your ballot paper. You also know what we stand for in the countryside Christian phalangist jackboot on the necks of the poor soft-hearted reform Liberal Party. And remember, thanks to the electoral register, I know where you live. Uh, come in. Do go. Hey, Miss, you'll have had your tea. Oh. I've had it up to here. Did you hear his lordship just sent canvassing for the election? Oh, I could hardly miss it. Oh, I tell you this, Hamish, I shall be glad when this by-election is over and done with. Me too. Have you decided which way you're voting? That is a private matter. It's a secret ballot, Hamish. Even the Prime Minister's bodyguards leave him to it when he's inside that booth. <laughs> <laughs> But the truth is, I'm undecided. At the moment, I could swing in any direction. Oh, <laughs> oh well, that would make you a Lib Dem. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know, I've half a mind to stand against the Laird and run for the seat myself. Well, you'll have my vote as long as you don't put your back out. <laughs> oh, but no, Hamish, the cut and thrust of political life is not for the likes of you and me. No. If you finish with your tea things, oh. I'll clear away. What? What? What's this, Mrs. Nochty? Don't tell me you're hitting the campaign trail as well. I certainly am. I lodge my deposit first thing after breakfast. <laughs> oh, do sit down, my dear. I've no time for that. As soon as I've done these dishes, I'll be spending the afternoon on the stump. Aye, those fish cakes have a mind of their own. <laughs> What, uh, what party do you represent, Mrs. Nochte? Our local ladies have been martyrs to static electricity lately. That's why we've formed Women Against Nylon Knitwear. Oh, so that's W-A-N-K... <laughs> have you thought this through, Mrs. Nochte? Oh, yes. We were going to call ourselves Scissor Sisters. But we felt that was rather rude. <laughs> Vote for Nocty, ladies. Get the sparks off your chest. Vote for me. Oh, this is terrible, Hamish. Now there's two of them. We can't have either of them winning the seat. No, neither one of them is fit to lick the bootlaces of our dear ex-MP, wee Jock Asbo. Oh. <laughs> He was a character. Yeah, he was, aye. He was great on television. Crime Watch UK. Aye, more than once. Dougal, it's up to you to fill his shoes. Oh, I don't know. I did it once and he wasn't too pleased. <laughs> no, no, no. You must answer the call. Oh, yes. And then when I've finished, <laughs> I'll... I'll put myself forward. And I'll be your right hand. I can see it now. <laughs> comes the moment, comes the man. Who is it? It's the man. Go away. Oh. I can't hear that. There's no door on this bus shelter. Good afternoon. Who shall I see it is? I've no idea. I've never seen you before. Ah, Hamish, Hamish. Say hello to my new personal secretary, <clears throat> Kirsty McQuirsty. How do you do? And there's nothing going on. I should hope not. I wouldn't want to see Dougal splashed all over the front page and hung out to dry by the tabloids. Oh, I have nothing to hide. Here's my leaflet. Oh, let me see. Clean as a whistle, sharp as a thistle. Goodbye to sleaze. Vote for me, please. Vote for Dongle. I'll kill that printer. 
If you want me, I shall be out the back in the mud patch. Where did you find her? Well, I'd gone to the park to read my copy of The Lady, and I was leafing... I was leafing through the bushes when I spied her sunbathing. Oh, topless? No, 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 I was wearing a hat. Yes, but... <laughs> I hope nothing happened. Well, put it this way, we were soon back to basics. Oh, just be careful. Any hint of carryings on and you're finished before you've even started. Funnily enough, that's what she said. Oh, it's... <laughs> right, Hamish. Hamish, it's time I did some doorstepping. Come on. Well, here we are in the village high street. I know that. Let the door stepping commence. <laughs> oh, that was fun. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to wait for them to open the door? <laughs> then they'd know who it was. Oh, that's the point. They want to get the measure of you. Oh, oh all right then. <laughs> okay, when I said get the measure of you, I didn't mean... Oh, well, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> well, now, let's see. There's only one house left. No number, but... Uh... Oh, look. Bechter's garden. Yeah. That'll be, uh, let's see, Mr. and Mrs. McBigot. Oh, yes. Oh, they sound like a couple of floaters to me. Don't they just? Well, here goes. Let's ring the bell. Who are you? Are you religious fanatics? Certainly not. Well, we are. Piss off. <laughs> Well, put them down as a yes. Yeah, I think so, yes. Well, so far, so good. We've just got to be sure we get your message across. I could be your chiropractor. Yes. What? Your spine doctor. That spin doctor, oh. you great tumsy. Who cares? Come on. It's all over. Bar the shouting. Vote for me, everybody, or I'll release the house. Vote for me, ladies. This is my pledge, and this is my J-cloth. And now some handy hints around the home. I hope we don't get to see her flash. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we are at the polling station. You're doing it again. <laughs> Now to cast our votes. Are the photographers here? Hi, Rob from the Bugle. Can you get a move on? That's half day closing and I need to get to the chemist. Ah, yes, to get the film developed. No, to pick up my special ointment. Oh, right. <laughs> right, Hamish. Into the polling booth. What is that? That's the poll. <laughs> but who is that? That's Kirsty McWursty. She's giving that poll a fair old polish. <laughs> Oh, I don't like the look of this. You speak for yourself. If you ask me, we've been set up. Right, everybody, a nice start to look for a camera. Everyone smile and say, Jings! Jings! Hold it right there. Not you, Kirsty. Too late. <laughs> Thanks to the other side's dirty tricks, I am Donald Ducked. No, no. Come along, Dougal. Look the world in the face and come up fighting. Oh, shit! Ah, you're right, that does feel better. Now, come on, Hamish, they'll be announcing the election result any minute. As returning officer for the constituency of Inverapenny, I declare the votes cast are as follows. Tara Palmer Tompkinson. 24-hour party. 69. 
Jeffrey Archer. Day release working party. <laughs> 5,633, he says. <laughs> the Crankies. Fan Dabby Party. Two votes. Sir Sean Connery. Scottish Nationals in the Bahamas Party. <laughs> 676. George Galloway. Suspect Party. 476 votes for Moustache of the Year. His Lairdship, the McCoist of McCoist of that ilk. Countryside Christian Phalangist jackboot on the necks of the poor, soft-hearted reform Liberal Party. <laughs> Minus 12 votes. <laughs> Bugger! Ms. Beyoncé Nochte. W-A-N knitwear party. <laughs> 15,501 votes. Yippee! Dougal McDougal. 24-hour opening alliance. This is it. 15,502 votes. Yes! Yay! I would like to thank the returning officer and the police for turning a blind eye. I haven't to, finished what? yet. What? 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 Ms. Kirsty McWursty. Spin on this party. Three, <laughs> 328,978. And I hereby declare that Ms. Kirsty McWursty is the duly elected member for this constituency. And don't forget your promise, Kirsty. <laughs> Quiet now, everybody. I'd like to thank you all for coming along to the wedding at such short notice. On behalf of my dear wife, Kirsty, and myself, I'd especially like to thank Mrs. Nocte for being such a splendid matron of honour. And, of course, Hamish and Dougal for stepping in at the last minute as the bridesmaids. You tell them, Tiger. I'm telling them, dear. We make a formidable husband and wife team, like the Hamiltons with sex. <laughs> and, and tomorrow, who knows, it could be number ten. In fact, it will be, as you're my wife number nine. Oh, shall we away home and drown our sorrows? No, oh, let's stay here and drown the laird. Oh, <laughs> come on, you two. This is no time for bitterness. Not on this, our special day. I'm so happy, I could sing. No! No! Things to know may get better. To know may get better. Now I have had your tea. The Doings of Hamish and Dougal was written and performed by Barry Clive and Graham Garden, with Alison Steadman as Mrs. Nocty and Jeremy Hardy as the Laird. Music was arranged by John Garden and performed by Karen Street, Kylie Davies, Roz Stephen and Sean Randall. The producer was John Naismith.